Okay, we made a deal on Shasta Drive, and I wanted to follow up last week's video with the results of what the numbers ended up being as far as purchase price, concessions, and planned rehab. So, we were projecting 240, couldn't get them quite that low, so we're actually buying it at 250. However, we did get him to throw into the deal $5,000 approximately of materials he had uh, already purchased to do the rehab, so new cabinets, paint, quite a bit of LVP, flooring. Uh, so pretty pretty solid deal all in all. The down payment stays the same, obviously. I was a little overzealous on closing costs. Repairs. So this is actually much lower than I was expecting. And what I mean by that, it's a, it's a higher number, but the anticipated repairs versus how much we're actually going to do uh, we're doing far more than I had budgeted for, but we're getting it at a solid price because I have a good relationship with a contractor here in town. So he's going to drop his job. He's currently on his own flip and come do this because I built a relationship with him over the years and, and sent him a lot of business. So 16.5 for repairs, basis a little bit higher than anticipated. ARV is the same, approximately 71,000 in equity. Um, so Let's talk through the repairs and then we'll hit on the uh, numbers over here and why this changed, right? The rent went up and there's a reason for that. So here, the seller's not doing the roof. The claim did not go through, but again, that's okay. We'll talk about why in a moment. We did get a pretty solid concession on the um, uh, financing. Foundation, not urgent. Already talked about that in the last video. HVAC's fine, electrical is part of that 16.5, sewer is part of that 16.5. Was not planning on doing the sewer because it's not impending by any means. But like I said in my last video, once you get, or when you're dealing with these houses from the 60s and 70s and there haven't been major renovations, they just start to fall apart. So my contractor has done this a million times. He offered to put it into the quote for a pretty reasonable amount. So again, that is included here in the 16.5 from the house to the street. The sewer line will be completely replaced uh, with PVC. And then windows, those are new, that stays. Cosmetic included in the quote. Now, here's an important part. That 16.5 includes making the house a five bedroom. It's only a four bedroom right now. It was originally a five bedroom and that's why the rent projection went up because it's going to be a five bedroom instead of a four. Those are really hard to come by. And it's a great way to get a little more rent and to get a family there for the long term, which is what you want. Turnover will kill you when it comes to rental properties. So having a larger home, we can get a family in and keep them there. That's the goal. And on top of that, <clears throat> going to texture and paint the whole house, flooring throughout the whole house, which would include refinishing the hardwood and then putting in new tile in the bathrooms. Um, upstairs and downstairs baths, going to keep the tile, paint it white, new sinks, uh, vanities, toilets. I uh, talked about the sewer line. It's going to fix the Federal Pacific panel, right? That's included in the quote. All new outlets and switches, ceiling fans and lights, kitchen counters, cabinetry put up, uh, kitchen floor. That's also going to be tile. Talked about the uh, sewer, bedroom wall put back. And then on top of that, all the supplies are included in that quote. So that's a lot of work on a, what is it, 1,600 square foot home maybe 17 now, I'm forgetting exactly the size, but all of that is included in the 16.5 and he'll get it done quickly and knowing him, he'll do extra things that I won't even know he did until years after. So now let's talk through the numbers over here. Again, rent went up because we're gonna have a five bed instead of a four bed. Plus overall, the whole house is gonna be nicer than I was anticipating. Number two, the debt service has gone down quite a bit. Reason for that, we're doing two years of interest only at 3%, at which point the loan will convert to a 15 year AM 3.25% interest loan, just a traditional mortgage, 15 years. Uh, so those two years will be useful because these will be the numbers for that first 24 months. We'll have over a thousand a month in cash flow, which will build that account. We don't, we don't need cash right now, so we'll just leave it in the account or put it into other investments if something pops up that's worthwhile. But my point being is if we get another terrible hailstorm and we do have to replace the roof, we'll have cash sitting there to do it. It's an older house. There probably will be more repairs and maintenance than projected here. 
uh, at least initially because it's a little bit run down. He didn't take care of it super well. So this will allow that to come out of the profit of the house. And the cash on cash is strong for the first couple years, at which point it'll start amortizing a 15-year loan. Uh, it's just a great deal all around because we're getting it under market with seller financing, which eliminates a lot of the costs. Uh, and it's in a nice area with really just a cosmetic rehab. It's not that extensive of a rehab. And again, as I hinted on earlier or in the last video, everything becomes less scary once you actually know. A cracked foundation, once you understand how houses are built and how they sometimes settle, especially locally here, you can figure out, well, why is it cracked? How do I repair it? Do I need to repair it? It's much easier as you learn more and more, all of the potential issues just become a line item in the budget. So that's how the numbers are playing out in actuality. And I'm going to be posting before and after pictures. The house is disgusting right now, smells horrible, uh, but soon enough, it'll be a nice home for a nice family.